crackers, breads, ready-to-eat meals, cheese, yogurt, deli meats, sauces, soups, everything. Ask yourself a question. What is the shelf life of a homemade batch of cookies? Two to three weeks max if kept outside the fridge. Then how is it that your biscuit packet stays intact for months, even years? Because it comes with chemicals. Chemicals that extend their shelf life but reduce yours. Same with these heat and eat meals. A lot of us resort to them these days and understandably so. Our lives are busy. There isn't enough time to cook three fresh meals a day. So microwave meals have become common. They've replaced traditional meals for some people at least. In India, the frozen food market is worth $1.2 billion. You know what's amusing? A lot of these ready to heat packets can be kept in the room temperature for months. Imagine keeping a homemade dal or curry outside the fridge for months. What do you think would happen? Now imagine the amount of preservatives that go into making these packaged meals. Same with packaged bread, packaged cakes and everything else that is industrially packed. Salt too is a preservative. Most of the packed items including chips, noodles and fries are loaded with salt. It extends their shelf life, it enhances their taste, but at what cost? Salt has sodium and consuming too much sodium increases your blood pressure, the risk of stomach cancer, heart diseases and premature death. I'm guessing for a lot of you, deli meats, cheese and bread have replaced your traditional breakfast. But is the habit sustainable? Should you continue eating packaged food even after knowing its downside? Is it worth risking your health? So what do you do? Cook three meals a day while also juggling work and life? That's far from what I'm suggesting. The point of this episode is to tell you that you should reduce the intake of packaged and processed food. Realize how some of the most common items in your kitchen can be harmful for you. Those colorful cereals that you eat every morning, they're food color and food color has acrylamide. It's a chemical that's not good for your health. It causes cancer. You know what else has food color? Packaged bread, cakes and biscuits. How do you think some of those biscuits are unnaturally dark or orange or pink? How is it that they come with colorful creams? Sure, your homemade snack looks dull in comparison, but it's safer. How many of you regularly munch on microwave popcorns? Do you know the popcorn bags are lined with PFC or perfluorinated compounds? What these compounds do is prevent oil from seeping through the popcorn bag, which is good. But when heated, these compounds break down into chemicals and these chemicals may cause cancer. You see, we are told very little about this side of packaged food because they save time, because they're tasty, because they come to our rescue. We conveniently assume that they're also safe. A samosa, we say, may be a better snack, followed by a workout, of course, than munching on microwave popcorns without any idea what's going into your body. It's better to eat that ghee-laced paratha than preservative-filled cereals for breakfast. We know very little about the ingredients that go into making packaged food. And I'm talking about the real ingredients, not the ones that are listed on the packet. We know very little about the hygiene situation of the place where these food items are made and processed. Earlier this month, salmonella was found in the world's biggest chocolate factory. The factory was producing Swiss chocolate, some of the finest Swiss chocolates. Long story short, it is time to rethink what we take for granted. It's time to reconsider the food in our kitchen. I know that it's not possible to throw out every packaged, preserved or processed food item from your kitchen, but you can always limit their consumption. So if you're looking to stay healthy, if you're looking to stay fit, if your goal is to take care of your body, then do what people in blue zones do. Maximize the intake of homemade food.